Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. Call Halal Lai, Yahweh Bashim Hawa Shai. All right, that's bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Proverbs chapter 9 and 13. A foolish woman is calamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. All right. Now, this is a verse written in Proverbs from the Bible. And I'm going to read it again. Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is calamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Now, that's a foolish woman. All right, and I wanted to point out the key word there, calamorous. All right, because if you look this word calamorous up in the blue letter, in a strong concordance, the Hebrew word is hama, hama, and it means what? To murmur, growl, roar, cry out loud, mourn, rage, sound, make noise, to mope, be clamorous, be disquiet. Be loud, be moved, be troubled, be in an uproar, all right? So a foolish woman is loud, is troubled, to be troubled. She's disquiet, she's calamorous, all right? She rage, all right? She's in an uproar because a woman that's not foolish, the, the scriptures tell you she would be what? Quiet. Shame face. All right. Let me get a quick precept, real quick. Quick precept. Let's get into the apocrypha. Let's get into the apocrypha, real quick. Bear with me. I think it's 26. So. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 26. And, um, Verse 14, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. All right. It says a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much wrath as a mind well instructed. I'm going to read it again. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much Roth as a mind well instructed. A shame faced and faithful woman is a double grace, and her continent, excuse me, and her continent mind cannot be valued. Okay? Alright. And let me read it again. A shame faced and faithful woman is a double grace. Hey, everything all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. I see you. Oh, thank you, man. What year is this? 2002. Okay. Yeah, thank you. How long you had it? For about a year. Been good to you so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been all right. That's good. Yeah. See, you got good stuff on there, too. It yeah, yeah. Like nah, it, it came like that. Yeah. I'm all at you. All right. <laughs> all right. So, like it for that, brothers. Um, I'm going to keep the camera rolling, all right? Um, it says a shame-faced and faithful woman is a double grace and her continent mind Cannot be valued. All right So that is the opposite from a foolish woman that is calamorous She is simple and knoweth nothing a foolish woman is a loud-ass woman that talks with a forward mouth 
She speaks whatever how she feel. She's not shame faced nor ashamed that she say what she want to say. You know, she doesn't have any discipline. She's rebellious, prideful, and loud. Because the word calamitous means hama, which is Hebrew, which means what? Rage. Make noise, to mope. Be disquiet, be loud, be moved, be troubled, be in an uproar. A woman that's always yapping her mouth and speaking things she know if not. And I'm going to read the precept, I'm going to read the scripture again. Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is calamitous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. I must get another precept. Bear with me because I didn't have these things lined up today. I didn't have the scriptures lined up. So bear with me. Um, Bear with me, so I can. No worries here. You can grab it in a while. Deprived of understanding, Bible. I know it's in Job, Job 39. That's where I was at. All right, I was looking in the wrong verse. All right, so let's get this scripture. This is Job chapter 39, verse 17. It says, because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. All right, so the women, when it comes to this truth, there's a man like the scripture says, I believe 1 Corinthians 11 chapter or is it 2 Corinthians 11 chapter, that the man is the head of the house and Yahweh Shai is the head of the church. All right? The man is over the woman. And his reasons why the Lord deprived women of wisdom and neither have he imparted in her the understanding, which is really of, this, of the word, man. All right? So if you call yourself a humble woman, you must act in the faith of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, in your faith and truth and sincerity with, to be shamefaced because that is the right way to go about you know being in his truth you know being in the right order in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. so I'm going to get back to the main precept this is Proverbs 9 and 13 a foolish woman is calamitous she is simple and knoweth nothing all right, so I got a little more. Um, this is uh, it's a little more on calamitous, the word calamitous. To growl, you know, you got women, they may not see it in themselves when they're loud and bitching out, bitching off. They literally growling at you, you know, like a dog, you know, growl. It says to growl, to murmur, you know, when, when a woman, she can't contain, a, a foolish woman can't contain her thoughts and all her words so she murmured you know she got to make whisper to this person she got to make whisper to that person you know because these women love to they love for their wickedness to be justified you know talking to someone that that's going to help them you know justify their wickedness and their entitlement of who they supposedly supposed to be you know a elder Pastor Gabar went over a lesson, a beautiful lesson a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, about the women and their entitlement. All right, so it says to murmur, to roar, to be in a stare, be in a commotion, to be boisterous, to be turb turbulent, all right? 
Now, I want to look this word up real quick. Let's get this word. Turbulent. Turbulent, right? Turbulent. Now, quick Google search. It says turbulent. And why I'm bringing this out, because the word calamitous goes deep, man. You know, you can see what type of demon you're dealing with. When, they're, when the, uh, the scriptures say a foolish woman is calamitous, a foolish woman. All right? You got some, we read the scripture where a silent one, that's a gift for the most high, you know? But then you got most majority calamitous women, the foolish ones, right? It says turbulent, characterized by conflict disorder so that tells you that this woman is out of order and the lord said he's not the author of confusion all right it says or confusion not controlled or calm you know women love to play trickery on the mind you know scriptures say their hands band snares and nets and they love to you know keep tricking you in your mind and your conversation and that's why us brothers you know, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, the Most High gave us the spirit of discernment. And when we out in them highways and byways, we are growing. You know, we we sharpening our iron, you know, iron sharp with iron. You know, when you have scoffers come up and you entertain those scoffers to edify. And you could pick a person out to know whether they bullshitting or they sincere. And we learn how to stay upon the topic because with a woman, if you lead yourself to engage into into her calamitous talk her calamitous ways then you're gonna find yourself saying stuff or missing the point you know the the the, the issue of of the main problem you know here it is you could be arguing and talking about the main problem or discussing or disagreeing about the issue but then trigger words because women are caught up in their feelings the foolish women they're caught up in their feelings off of trigger words and then that draw you down another road which is the road you don't want to go down because that stray you away from the major point you know women good for that that's the trickery of the mind man scoffers uh uh once you know they they yearn they uh strive to have that skill and to do unto us because they wanted to they want to uh pervert the gospel you know they want to confound us in the word but it don't work because we have the spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh with us and he's not just with us when we in the camp, he's with us in our daily strolls out of our lives, man. You know? So, turbulent, characterized by conflict, disorder, or confusion, not controlled or calm. Let's see. Um, now, here's a few synonyms. Stormy, unstable. So, a woman that's calamitous, she's unstable. You know? Because why? She murmurs. She's talking to other people. Now, you know, these women allow conversations of the world. They hear it is, you know, they can have a problem. And then they talk it to someone. Uh, Paul said that. Uh, ye, are ye unworthy to... Wait. I got to get the scripture. <laughs> oh, man. It's like... Let's see. Uh, I think it's something written in 6. All right, this is First Corinthians six and one because women do this. You know, it says, "Dare any of you having a matter against another, go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints." You know, because a foolish, calamitous woman she'd take advice from someone that don't even even believe in the truth. You know, if she supposedly supposed to be following the truth, right? They seek any type of uh, uh, information to help justify their wickedness or their madness instead of listening and being in order, you know, with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the house. So it says, Dare any of you having a matter against another go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do, you, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? Because... The saints are the Israelites, and in particular the elect. We're going to judge the world. Hey, the men of the Lord, the Lord's elect, those men that you see out there in the highways and byways, starting with our apostles and elders, 
of Great Millstone and the brothers all, all down through the four corners. And I'm going to say of Great Millstone. All right. And there's other brothers out there that's not in Great Millstone. But those that speak in the truth, 100% 100, 100 truth, prophecy. All right. Them are the judges of the world, man. It says, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? Speaks for itself, man. We're going to judge the angels, man. So here it is. Why go? You know, well, hey, that's what women do. The foolish, calamitous woman. You read the precept, the, uh, the, the main scripture, Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is calamitous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. All right, so let's get back into the word turbulent. And it's some synonyms. Unstable, unsettled, explosive. Let's see. Rough. Yeah, a loud, calamitous woman, a foolish, calamitous woman is rough. All right, you gotta, you know, you got the rough house, you gotta speak all the time, you gotta yell. They conditioning that the functional ass type of relationship. You know, these women are used to uh, niggas, you know, and the way and how you communicate is that you, is you argue, ah, fighting all the goddamn time. That's crazy. All because she's a foolish, calamitous woman that knoweth nothing. It says, hey, you check out a, a, a most, a, I have a, a friend in the world. You know, he was growing up, you know, he was very emotional and he was not as bright as everyone else. But one thing he can do was whoop your ass, man. This dude could have been a UFC fighter, you know. He still could be because he still got it, you know, from far as what I see and what I've heard, you know. But the, the point is, is that this guy, you know, he wasn't bright far as his intelligence and knowing things he always was on the slow side of things if you want to say you know but one thing he had was was skill and fighting so every time this guy would lose a conversation his result would be he would say but you can't beat me though so men can be emotional too and because he's foolish and because he has no understanding he will resort into violence to solve whatever what it is he feel. You know? That's the way the women move, man. A foolish, calamitous woman. A loud woman, man. A rough woman. It says, uh, storm tossed heavy, violent, wow. Angry, angry, raging, raging, <laughs> boilings, uh, choppy, bumpy, right, okay? Now, let me go one more step, and let's go into the uh, etymology. Turbulent. Now, this is the word stemming from the word calamitous, right? It says disorderly, unruly. A foolish, calamitous woman is unruly. So why give a headache for it, man? We don't, we don't, we're not giving a headache we're not giving a headache for two thirds that walk up and he just, you know, scoffing. So why give a headache, you know, for a calamitous, foolish woman that knoweth nothing? It says unruly. You know, they don't follow your way. They don't follow your order. They got to do what they want to do. They're going to say what they want to say. And they think that this is the way they're going to get their way. You know, no, it don't work like that. And it's truth, man. It says, full of commotion, restless, disturbed, bo uh, boisterous, stormy, troubled, confused. All right? And that's that's basically the point. You know, I don't want to keep driving it in. Well, I do want to keep driving it in, but it, but it is what it is. You got the picture, man. All right? It says, uh, uh, Proverbs 9 and 13, a foolish woman is calamitous. She is simple and knoweth nothing, man. All right? And I didn't want to make this too long. It's about 20 minutes. But I wanted to touch on those definitions. You know, to make a loud sound, uh, to move a loud, loud noise, raw, disquiet, all right, troubled, murmuring, 
calamorous by implications to be in great commotion of tumult to rage war you know that's what happens when you engage and in, in, in entertain a foolish calamorous woman you end up going to war you know so it's best to just cut them off man all right it says um uh roar sound be troubled make a tumult all right you know to be in an uproar you know so hey you know proverbs 9 13 a foolish woman is calamorous she is simple and knoweth nothing man knoweth nothing and um and let me get one more scripture here This is Sirach chapter 26 and 24. Uh, uh, yeah, 24. A dishonest woman contemneth shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. And the scriptures mean what it says. You know, so I hope you brothers you women out there who are listening and believing in Yahweh Bashem Shai, I hope you guys were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, so on to the next one, um, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of the great millstone, salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect, Shalom.